Welcome back to The Climb, a guided journal series inspired by the book, The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho. Thank you so much for joining us. I am honored to have you here once again. If this is your first time here, please go back to journal series number one, which will be in the down bar below, to get full detail on what this series entails. If you want to start here, you are more than welcome. For any returning participants, I want you to give yourself a huge hug because last week could have been either tough or fun. Last week we journaled about our youth. This could have brought up fun memories or some pain. Hopefully, whichever way it went, you were able to touch that part of you and remember your inner innocence and what made you happy. As a practice for myself, this is another reminder, I want you to revisit that journal series question number one every day or at least once a week to keep checking in about what it is that you really want in life. I highly recommend this. We also had an action step last week. Were you able to find an old photo or a video? Did that help you recognize what your joys were? Please feel free to tell me in the comments below. And as always, you can chat with me on my Instagram at Mrs. Love Above All. Let's move forward and discuss this week's journal topic. What is my mission? Pause the video and grab your journal and or paper and pen. Our topic today is what is my mission? In the book, The Alchemist, this is the line that jumped out at me. Whoever you are, or whatever it is that you do, when you really want something, it is because the desire originated in the soul of the universe. It's your mission here on earth. So at the end of Jesus' life, he was able to say in John 17, 4, I glorified you on earth by completing the work you gave me to do. What is the work that God has given you to do? I do not know the answer to that, but you know the answer to that. What I can say is that I believe that we all have heart missions. The definition of a heart mission is your own mission that is a combination of all of your pain, I believe, and your dreams. The, yo the Lord uses it all. The Lord wants us to love others and show others His love through us in our own unique way. It may be through art, design, writing, teaching, speaking, playing sports, being a mother or father, the list can go on and on. God has made you unique. I believe your heart mission, the work that you do here on earth, is a constant evolution. To go even further, I really believe that it almost takes an entire lifetime to really love ourselves and see ourselves the way that God sees us. Because wow, when we see ourselves the way that God truly sees us, beautiful, forgiven, perfect, and able, you will be able to do amazing things and go after what you really want. Growing more and more into God, into who God sees you, will enable you to live more of an abundant life and spread his love without feeling ashamed about it. Guess what? Your heart mission and unraveling of who you really are is inside of you. It's always been there. You just need to find it. So right now, I'd like you to feel your heart space, the space between your thoughts, and take a couple deep breaths. It is time for your pre-journal questions. Please read these questions. Let whatever pop up, pop up. It is now time to write. Keep writing for the whole time. Replay this if necessary and stop when your spirit has stopped speaking. And remember, there is no right or wrong answer. The journal question for today is, I'd really like you to think of your metaphorical heart. What pain lives inside this heart and what dreams live inside this heart? You can follow this diagram that I've provided below. You have two minutes to go ahead and write your response to this journal question. You can stop when the video tells you to stop or you may proceed. This is your sacred time.
You may stop here or you may keep going. And your action step for the week is as follows. Um, If you're feeling unclear at all about your heart-centered mission, I advise you to take a look at my very first video series that I created. It needs to be updated for sure, but those videos came from a very, very clear space. I would choose one video or work your way all through them. The link to this series will be listed in the down bar below. If you do not feel that you have any work to do with your heart, then I would suggest that you take some quiet time this week to write a heart-centered statement. For example, my heart mission is for everyone to love themselves, know themselves, and to share themselves with others for God's purpose without any shame or blame, just being who we are. What would be your mission statement if you had to have one and if you had to combine your pain with your dreams as well as what God has called you to do? Please let me know how you are enjoying this journal series and please share this with others who you feel would benefit. And as always, you can connect with me in the comments below or on Instagram at Mrs. Love Above All. God bless you. Thank you so much for letting me do this with you. I look forward to hearing from any of you. And have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week.